Hello comrades and welcome back to the Russian re-roll slash the Russian reboot. Steve, in the last video we got this medium dome going. We got some people working in the medium dome, but we also have a lot of vacant job slots. So, I'm bringing a bunch of people down to help accommodate that. And we have 33 available housing spaces. We are actually just going to switch that over. We're just going to do wheat at our farm right now. We are requesting electronics. I'm actually going to request machine parts. Uh, for that, to see if anybody's going to take me up on that offer. A holes. Maybe I need to do some, start doing some covert ops, start stealing stuff from other colonies. Uh, most of the upper area has been scanned. Um, not a lot there right now. Um, just a little bit of water. We also have this slight problem um, with our uh, concrete extractors. In that, this thing malfunctioned, and I have no way to... I really just don't want to get stuff up there for him. Um, this transport, he's just on auto right now. This is zipping around, doing his thing. We are working on CO2 jet propulsion, and uh, we already have the Megadome unlocked in the engineering tech tree. Maybe if we get to Molehole Mine, I may just burn through that thing uh, to try and get something, and to try to get that going, because so far, there ain't much in the way of metal on this planet. Um, this one, I have a driller actually working on this one. Why are you... Oh, no available space to unload waste rock. Come on over here. How about dig? Okay, didn't realize that was going to be an issue, but... The RC driller, I'm still... Uh, I'm still kind of iffy about him. Um, I like the idea of him. Do not get me wrong, I really like the idea of the thing. You know, having essentially a mobile mining outpost. Sector scanned. You got a bunch of people coming in here, and you none of them are running survived. over the ramp. But it's all running inside. Hopefully we're going to get a lot of people to work here. Uh, this is malfunctioned. We need machine parts for that. And I'm actually going to open up another machine part shift. On this one. And I want to put the desired amount of food to like 20 here, because we actually have people in this dome and they need food. Now, power-wise... I don't know what I'm going to be doing power-wise right now. Power-wise, I've got that slight... I have a slight uh, surplus in power, which is going to disappear very quickly uh, once I start getting these hubs on. Once I start getting those uh, shuttle hubs on. Because I could build out to this. Wouldn't be a problem, actually. Let's do that. I'm going to uh, put some cabling down there. And I'm just going to put the shuttle hubs near this. Scanned. We are going to need to turn this guy back on at some point. How many rare metals do we have on Mars? Not a lot. Research complete. Yay! We now have shuttles. And uh, we have Martian Aerodynamics to increase the shuttle speed. Next up is going to be uh, drone capacity. A little bit the amount of time that needs between those guys to recharge. Then we're going to go for some of these breakthrough techs. All right, so let's drop a shuttle hub. Ah, damn it! It needs electronics. Let me forget about that. Uh, you're ready to go back. You have one rare metal on board. Gonna have to work for now. Better than nothing. You am actually going to turn on um, polymers. Interesting. Let's turn that shift on as well. Get some more folks working in there. And we're running a very uh, a very tight rope with everything that we have in the colony right now. We have uh, we have enough fuel to make some polymers. We have enough metals to make machine parts, but we need the machine parts to... We need the electronics to maintain the machine parts factory, we need the machine parts to maintain the electronics factory, and we also need the machine parts to keep the rare metals extractor going, so it can keep the... Anybody else just figuring out how confused it is yet? Sector scanned. But we're absolutely going to drop down a... Shuttle hub. I'm not going to put it right there. I'm just going to put it right here, out on its own. I'm going to turn the site off. I mean, we have the concrete for it. We don't have the polymers for it. We don't have the electronics for it. We need to get these electronics producing naturally on Mars to keep this up and running. 
This guy, though, come on. Okay, those are metals, metals. We need a machine part to pop out of here. Okay, that's just really cool. Actually taking a good look at the security station now. It ha essentially, this is a state security building. <laughs> and we got a renegade in the dome, which is fine. That's what the security station's there for, is to keep him out, just to, you know, keep him getting into trouble. But once we get Martian University up, man, oh man, oh man, I'm looking forward to it. Let's actually see what we can do with a supply pot about that. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Is that's gonna get uh, MU up and running? Fine. Um, let's see. Research-wise, I'm a little disappointed. There ain't much to research right now. Hopefully... Wow, that's completely... That's a completely useless section. Just need to figure out what's around here. Let's see. iPad's not my usual spot. It's up on my monitor. Trying to remember where deep scanning is. I'm looking it up right now. Because that is a technology I'd love to get so I can scan this area again, see if we can find everything else. So, adapted probes can deep scan naturally. Deep scanning tech. This is in the physics tree. Alright, kinda need to work in the physics tree. It says it costs 4500 which means it's the next one after this. And this, I'm just going from the, uh, the Paradox Wiki on this one. Turn you on. Yeah. Just wanted to double check that real quick. All right, so we got machine parts to keep the, to get this guy back up and running, which is good. Um, we're producing electronics here. We're almost done with Martian University, which I'm hoping is going to result in some people getting trained up in the things they need to be trained in. Polymers are making one a day, we're almost two, one and a half a day here, we're making three machine parts, we're making four electronics, what's the demand? We're main, maintenance is one right now, allegedly. We're not producing any fuel, which is fine, because we've got plenty of it. Now let's uh, turn him back on. I'm going to turn these guys back on because they are going to need to start supplying this guy soon enough. There we go. Martian University is active. Whoa! And it immediately goes into an inactive shift. I'm going to load that up just fully. Everybody go in there. Do your thing. Let's see. Workaholic. Morale, morale, morale. Autosave. Morale. Not working in home dome, which is fine. Lazy. Resources are low. Yeah, if we can get some people going through Martian University, getting trained up in the stuff they need to be trained up, that is just going to make this so much easier for us as we keep going. Um, now, the art store has been shuttered because Funding we need them. We need them to, you know, not. All right, so um, 11 vacant residential, 6 vacant nursery slots. I have kids living in apartments. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That's a mistake, go. I'm gonna build a couple nurseries and a playground up here for the kids. And I'm just gonna do two and one because from here I could go out to another dome up here. I could go out and then over, but this may be 
another medium done, maybe? Just, let's start to, let's start planning stuff. Can't really fit a medium dome in here. I mean, it'll be tight, but we can get one in there. But connecting the two is going to be really tough. But let's just actually get rid of these two. I could fit a medium dome there. Can I fit a medium dome over here? Not really. So it would have to be uh, like a trigon dome fitting there. That would work. Just butt it up against... Uh... That would work. I'm just going to turn that one off. Because that's an absolutely great sight. To... Mm, is it a great sight, though? My concern is there's something... This is a deep deposit there or something. Alright, I got a minor power fall off overnight now. Or... Hmm. Interesting. Let's turn this one on. Because I've got the... I've got everything but the polymers for it, but... As long as we have an electronic that we can use for it, we're going to be okay. Resources are low. Yeah, we're trying to be low for a while too. I'm just trying something here. Just bear with me as I go through it. Power is short. Eh, yeah, yeah, I can, I can actually see that. Solar makes the most sense right now because we don't have the machine parts for good, uh, decent wind turbines. And we don't have the polymer blades to do that. Damn. Do something over there. Nothing. This is not available right now until we get that hub online. It's not a long-term solution, and I'm actually being critical of calling it a solution at all. But... Turn that site off. Clear this out. Let's get some power generation going. Because from what I'm seeing, we've got the ability to produce power during the day. Not a lot, mind you. Power's gonna we're gonna start having brown out soon. Nothing. These guys have different skins? No. I was just curious if they had skins or not. Alright. A couple more of them we should be fine. Alright, we got a slight surplus right now. We're now running. The, we're just walking that tightrope now. We've got to keep. Um, derp de derp de derp. Um, Sector we're gonna need to get more power uh, producing before we start dropping down any more stuff. Could put a couple sterling generators right there. Like that if we hoped. So, we're going to find out what's up here. Um, not really enthusiastic about what we're going to find, but let's, uh, let's throw curiosity to the wind here and do this. Right there for now. Too far. Oh! Ah, I can put one up here. So, we could get to this highest point. Granted, we're not going to be able to cable much from it due to the unevenness of this entire area. Wind turbines would be great up here, but we won't have much to... We're not going to be able to put much up there, unfortunately. Oh, good. Another dust devil probably heading right for the colony. Uh, so many polymers. 
Could have actually gone for the Sterling Generator first, but that was my mistake. I derped pretty hard there. I'm not actually going to increase the uh, need for researchers. I just want to check something real quick. You. Hmm. Try to figure that out real fast. Okay, we got plenty of metals being dropped off, which I like. Resources are low. Yep. Just a few more polymers to keep this going. Unfortunately, the rare metals that are being produced are just going straight into here. Are low. We're not getting enough to put it elsewhere. Dust storm approaching. Damn. All right. So, power-wise, we're gonna lose a lot, and I have enough for one. Research complete. That's helpful. Alright. Absolutely going to put that to the top of the list because I want to start deep scanning the local area. See if there's anything else we can uh, Sector scan. work with. Now the other option is I could cancel the shuttle hub. Which I'm going to do that instead. Build some power accumulators. I'm going to build five accumulators. So that's going to accommodate. That's going to pretty much take up all the polymers, and hopefully, we'll get enough power in the system before uh, the windstorm or the uh, blah, 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 blah. um. What do you call it? What do you call it? Dust storm starts to keep us operational because I'm going to have to close these guys up, and if these guys are cranking out enough juice where we can charge them up, I'm totally up for that. And this drone who just ran out of juice. Oh yeah, somebody mentioned in the previous video. Let me clear out the remains of that recharge station. So all of these are charging up pretty quick. And I've got two souls to get them to full capacity. Um, did, we, did we get storage compression knocked out? We did, excellent. Um, we got plenty of water. Where are you at right now? You need to come over here. Grab. Nope, nope, nope. Off. Grab one load of elect one set of electronics. Now go up there. Let's get that operational while we can. I'm just gonna drop that off there. And head back. That way. These guys can um, keep up and running. They are now out of machine parts up there, so we're gonna have to make do with what they have for now. Shit. Well, this is a problem. A number of red lights go off as sparks, sparks start flying from the terminal that monitors our power networks. Stress on one of our power networks is causing a massive power surge. This is a serious. There's a serious threat of overloading the entire network if we don't do something quickly. Um. We've got a dust storm coming, so we're going to gamble. I'm going to gamble on this one because I'm not going to risk blowing up batteries because we're going to need the, we're going to need that excess power when the solar panels are offline during the dust storm. Really don't want to do the whole panicking thing because several buildings will break down. That could mean moxies. That could mean factories. That could mean buildings that require polymers for maintenance, things I don't want. So we're going to do the power shutdown. All right, we lost one of our big turbines. We lost both our big turbines. Wow, suck it. All right, that gamble failed badly. Shit. 
I'm gonna go polymer blades on the large turbine, one of these large turbines. Hopefully that'll get something going. Damn. I gambled pretty heavy on that one. Did not uh, work in my favor. I'm gonna turn off polymer storage here. It needs to be stored up at the uh, domes. Like, I'm just gonna demo that thing completely. Okay, auto mode, go. I want these, uh, this is really just for trade. That was a crummy gamble. My big concern was this thing breaking down, because this thing takes four polymers to repair. Where the hell is everyone? Okay, you know what? Fine, I'm closing down the night shift. People go back to work. I'm gonna turn off second shift. I'm gonna turn off first shift too. People need to be in the buildings producing stuff. Machine parts running pretty low. I'm not gonna stand that. Polymers running very low. But that's a problem here. The ecology needs polymers. So do these guys. I may have made a serious error. And I'm really not comfortable with how I did that. Damn. I should have just I should have just done the uh shutdown. I'll turn these guys off ahead of the dust storm. We don't need them right now. Even worse is, once this dust storm kicks up, I gotta turn off the sterling generators. Gonna increase the workload in the research labs. I'm pretty much going to go, I'm going to heavy load folks for a little bit. Even overnight we got a bad, over, we're not producing enough. Damn. Resources are low. Yeah, the power is actually a concern. I'm going to put a single one, I'm going to put one more down, that's it. I can't rationalize putting any more down because it's going to endanger the colony further if I do. Worst part is I know it's not going to offset the solar panels are going to be shut down by this design, by this uh, by the dust storm. Damn that! Well. Offering concrete, requesting polymers. Nothing. Fuel? And immediately we got a leak. Shut those all down. Jesus. I'll accept that. Boom, but an immediate leak popping up. That's what we needed. Three souls on the dust storm. I ain't gonna make it. I mean, the O2 and the water will hold. The power is an issue. Not at that rate. Damn it. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Damn it. We're not going to get there. Yeah. I'm going to turn off that factory because this factory takes a ton of energy. Fifteen, five. Fifteen. I'm trying to find what takes a lot of power. Do we seriously just lose all the water? Wish this thing would come back online. 
All right, we got a small surplus because we're in the overnight hours. This building needs polymers. Damn. So a lot of things that are shut down, and this is that red X of, we're screwed! At least this guy's gonna be giving us some polymers so we can use some maintenance of the stuff we got. This one's gonna be close. I'm, uh... I'm concerned. This thing's producing 20 during the dust storm. I've got a couple extra polymers. And the entire grid's down again because of a leak. Yeah. I'm gonna turn that off, but turn these on. Come on. Yeah, it's going to get worse. Is this really how this one's going to end? <laughs> Accept it. Get up here. Multiple leaks detected. Sector scanned. Eh, I think we're going to have some people die in this episode. Alright, power's been fixed, but our O2 and water... Come on, you can do this. You can do this. This one's op operational finally, which is helpful. We're starting to get a little bit of juice back into the grids. Hopefully, um, shutting these two buildings down during this uh, disaster is going to keep people alive for a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Definitely putting more storage tanks down. The second leak. Plus side, I've got concrete I can send out. Okay. Yeah, machine parts aren't going to last long. Uh, we just got to ride out the storm. There's not really much we can do here. We've got a slight surplus, and we're in the daytime, too. God damn it. Fix it quick. I'm trying to get these batteries to get a little bit of a boost. Just not happening. Oh good, more oxygen leak. Same spot too. Could be worse. This could be a meteor storm where the entire colony is in a bloody bullseye. Jokes that that dome's needing maintenance. That's... I'm growing food. We're fine. Food I'm not concerned about. Uh, 24 solar panels, the extractors up top side. I'm gonna disregard that one, because I've got the polymers. I need the electronics now. Actually, let's make the most of this. We've got the concrete, we've got polymers now, we've got electronics. When the storm ends, we could have a shuttle hub operation. Resources are low. Oh, shut up. We got 52 going into the grid every hour. Okay, I'm going to stop saying how much electricity extra I have, because this is definitely screwing with me.
which is fine because they can't fly during storms anyway. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. We gotta get up here. Deep scanning's almost done. Episode's gonna end with the dust storm abating, hopefully. As soon as the dust storm abates, everybody's going back to work. Hey, we got some engineers popping now. I like it. So where... Oh, wow, look at all these engineers working in the polymer factory. I like it. And we have... no ge We have geologists out here, so we're not doing them yet. Minus seven. Water's fine. Electronics are low. Yes, machine parts are non-existent. All right. Turn it on. And turn you on. All right. We are going to be having a problem with the uh, with the machine parts for a while until we can get everybody back up and running. But we'll, we'll have to worry about that in another episode. I'll wrap it up for now. Like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on my channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the bell so you can be notified when new videos come out. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.